Okay, here's my mill. One of the first things I built when we got to Tasmania. How did you not have a mill when you got all this wood around? But anyway, I'll show you how he works. So what it is different to a normal mill, it's not a bandsaw, it's actually a chainsaw bar. Underneath there, it's a 72 inch bar and it runs from one end to another. And how the mill actually works is a nice 13 horsepower engine just here. Vertical drive, so there's a pulley here. Goes down a belt to another pulley. This pulley goes down there into the chain sprocket, which of course makes the chain spin round. Now how you govern the height is with these two turnies up here. I did have one turny, but that was too hard to get this dead square each time. So what I've got is a tape measure mounted here. The same one on this side just there. So I just measure them with these little lines here to get the same height so it's parallel. Before you could get it a bit skew -if like that, it wasn't any good. Now I've got a, another turny wurney here, which is attached to some thick sailing yacht rope. And this is what drives the whole mill forward on these rollers, as you can see now. Now it's fairly obvious what this handle's for. This handle pulls it and you can guide it. Otherwise, you're trying to push it from one corner and you want to tilt the whole mill so it doesn't work. So if you're thinking of making one, make sure you've got this handle there. Another thing you need is an oil tank. Now this has just got chainsaw bar oil in it. I'll, take, I'll show you a closer look later. And this goes down to the blade and puts constant lube actually on the blade. So it's quite simple really. Get your height adjusted. Have your frame that slides inside this frame. So you've got a slightly bigger bar just there, square tubing, that's bigger than this small one. Tight fit, but good enough. So here we go. So now, after a little bit of a rough explanation, let's fire him up and see what happens. Okie dokie, let's. Let's take a closer look at everything. This is the oil can with an oil level indicator in just here so I can see how much oil is in there. Comes out through this tube with a highly scientific stop, paper clamp. Goes down there to the pipe and then down straight on to the chain via that. It's actually a uh, airline switch but this switch can graduate one way or the other to give you more or less oil but it keeps that big bar nice and lubed. To know how far we're cutting we have a tape measure with an indicator on there to tell you well how thick a slab you're actually going to cut. Honestly we've got the fuel tank, battery, there's the motor, start switch and everything and there you can see the pulley pulley tensioner over to a smaller pulley and then that goes down under here to a chainsaw clutch which worked for a while but then it burnt out so I ended up just welding it together but that means it's quite easy to change the standard sprockets just here you can see the shaft just under two pillow bearings and then we have the throttle just get there there's the throttle just there is the pulley to give the horizontal travel. The two pulleys, one for left, one for right. I did try one pulley for the whole cage, but it went up rickety, so it was no good. The wheels are aluminium on bearings on 75 mil heavy duty angle iron that's been mounted on sleepers, which goes down there. 4.2 meters and there are the adjustable dogs 
to hold the timber so these boys can just lift up and across and tighten up onto your log so basically they just slide in down there and then just turn it to grip your logs and there's two of these on each side and that will grip your logs so it's all made out of just medium duty light I think it's 32 mil tubing and then some heavy duty angle iron here and there Here's the first piece of timber I um, cut on the mill which has come up pretty good and then some seats so I've made it into a garden table edges obviously being completely milled as well with underneath a lovely big pine tree just perfect for the afternoon wine to sit and enjoy the rest of the day.